Pose AI Release 1.4 adds face animations to our Pose engine. Now we offer real-time body, hands, and face in one pipeline, licensable on most platforms. Our technology works locally on iOS, Android, and even a humble Windows webcam. So game designers, let your players express their emotions via their characters. For face, we are using the normal camera stream to estimate AR kit equivalent blend shapes, but without the fancy Apple depth cam. These clips are just YouTube videos, animated in real time on the CPU for Windows or GPU for mobile. We plan to build on our facial AI in the future. For instance, we disabled tongue tracking for this release due to inconsistency, but we hope to add it back soon. This release also improves our hand tracking, which helps our AI model produce better predictions and even allows greater distances from the camera. We also resolved an issue where sometimes a finger animation would straighten, even though the hand was closed. With the support of Innovate UK, over the last few months we've been building out our proprietary dataset to deliver even better AI. Now, a lot of other pose trackers don't even predict the spine, which is odd given it's the core of all movement. The focus this year for our body model is really on predicting the spine well, and then adding coverage for floor exercises like yoga or Pilates. As we said last year, our version 2 model does really well for standing positions, but sometimes lost tracking on the floor. Here you can see the animation freezing and the back is quite stiff. This release includes our initial version 3 model for full body. As you can see, it does a better job tracking these poses and properly captures the bending spine. These improvements came from using only a small fraction of our new data set, so our roadmap has a lot more improvements to our AI coming. In addition to further improving the full body model, we will also update our seated at desktop mode soon. We have updated our Unreal plugin and demo project, adding options to the handshake for face and the version 3 model. We included a helper toggle to rotate the lower body 180 degrees if needed for desktop mode. For Unity, we will add access to the facial shapes, but they don't have a standard model like MetaHumans to use, so we leave that to developers. As always, reach out to discuss licensing.